Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the second week of class. You made it through the first week, and uh, there wasn't that much really to make it through. Uh, the first week was an introductory week for us. A lot of people, uh, or some people, are adding the class late, halfway through the week. So I purposefully keep the uh, first week a little light. You had just the test video and the speech of introduction to complete as well as, of course, looking over the syllabus. Uh, and so the first thing that we have for this week's classwork is for you to view all of the test videos and the speeches of introduction of your classmates. Uh, so you should download the files for each of those sets of videos uh, and watch them and for this time, you know, just watch them, get to know your classmates. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of them over the course of the semester in all of the uh, various minor and major speeches that uh, you and they will be delivering and submitting. One of the key things that we are doing in this class that you should be learning and gaining skills in regards to in this class is how to critique uh, the public speaking of other people. And so watching your classmates' speeches and uh, identifying things in them, uh, both things that they are doing well as well as things that they could improve, is very important and is a very central component of this class. Uh, and later on, when we get to the major speeches, you will actually be writing up critiques or peer reviews of a few of your classmates' speeches. Uh, so watching all of your classmates' speeches in uh, the uh, several minor sets of minor speeches that we're going to be doing leading up to our first major speech, the informative speech, will sort of give you a little uh, experience in watching. And if you want to, on these minor speeches, you can even you know, take notes uh, on your classmates as to what they're doing well and what they uh, have as areas of improvement. So, uh, Otherwise, apart from watching those speeches and videos from last week, uh, this week we are starting, uh, truly starting our coursework and our uh, examination of ideas uh, and other things related to public speaking. Uh, you'll be reading Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 from the Jaffe text uh, and participating in the first discussion forums for the semester. Most weeks over the course of the semester, uh, other than those weeks when you are going to be submitting major speeches, uh, pretty much every week you are going to have a discussion forum that you'll need to contribute to, uh, and you will have uh, at least one uh, during the first part of the semester, usually two chapters from the Jaffe text that you're going to need to read. Um, so when it comes to discussion forums, uh, some weeks there will be one discussion topic, some weeks there will be two discussion topics. So make sure that you're looking closely. Uh, the way that the discussion forum interface is uh, set up on eCollege, it is easy to uh, miss uh, seeing if there's two different um, discussion topics. So make sure that you're double checking, and I will usually say uh, on the home page in the rundown for the course plan for the week if there's two discussion topics. But whether there's one or two topics, uh, for each, each discussion topic, there's going to be two things that you need to do. The first is to post your own uh, initial response or your initial posting to that discussion topic. Uh, the topic will have some detail about, you know, what I want you to think about, what I want you to respond to in terms of whatever the topic uh, of the discussion is. And so you should have one pretty substantive uh, initial posting related to that. Uh, and one of the places that people most often lose points is they just don't uh, provide a response that is long enough or substantive enough. You know, a couple of sentences is probably not going to uh, 
cut it as far as a response for your initial postings to these discussion topics. Give me and give your classmates that you're going to be engaging with in these discussion topics uh, a good, you know, meaty, uh, thorough paragraph or so, uh, if not a couple of paragraphs, of material in your uh, response in your initial discussion postings. Then the second thing that you're going to need to do in each discussion forum uh, is to respond to at least one classmate's posting. Um, that means, that doesn't mean just saying I agree or, you know, giving sort of a superficial response. It means engaging with what they said uh, and giving a fairly substantive response or reaction of some kind uh, to what that classmate has said. Now the response postings do not have to naturally be as thorough and as substantive as your initial postings, uh, but they should still have, um, you know, a good nugget of uh, an indication that you have engaged with, uh, with what the classmate has said uh, and thought about it and are providing a true response to that. Now, for those of you that may have taken online classes uh, before, uh, all of this regarding the discussion forums is probably very elementary, but I want to make sure that anybody that hasn't taken a, an online class before has a good little primer of sorts in how to engage uh, in these discussion forums. Then in regards to the text readings, um, of course the first thing you're going to do is to read the chapter. And for every chapter out of the Jaffe text that you're going to be reading this semester, there is a reading guide uh, that is linked to on the course uh, website. Uh, use that reading guide as, believe it or not, your guide uh, to doing that text reading in that particular chapter. And in the reading guide is the list of uh, terms and concepts that you are going to want to pull out of that particular chapter. Um, so those are the things you're going to want to focus on. Of course, um, you don't want to just go through and cherry pick those terms. You want to actually read the whole chapter so that you have got the context uh, that Jaffe is providing uh, and are engaging with the material fully. Um, but any terms or any concepts, and there are quite a few of them, uh, that are in the chapters that do not appear on those reading guides, uh, you do not need to worry about knowing in terms of being prepared to answer questions uh, on them on the immediate reading quizzes that you'll be taking or uh, later on at the end of the semester, the final exam. So utilize those reading guides as you're reading the chapter, and you can do that however you want. You know, they are uh, in a form that w are easy to, to just print off that page and maybe take notes on it, um, or you can, of course, take notes in the text itself if you want as well, on a separate sheet, whatever. Then, uh, accompanying uh, the chapters as well, I have audio lectures. Um, there's an audio lecture for each chapter in the text. Now, as it explains in the uh, course plan for this week, uh, these audio lectures are uh, for the previous edition of the Jaffe text, which I have not updated the audio lectures, um, but most of, the, most of it still pertains and is um, uh, applicable to the edition that you have of the Jaffe text, and so um, you can listen to those. If you feel like you don't need it, um, you know, you wouldn't have to listen to it, um, but I do encourage you to listen to the audio lectures. And then when you've done those two things, uh, take the reading quiz. Uh, it's multiple choice, true, false, mostly with uh, one short answer question at the end of it, uh, of uh, two or three points, where you'll have to, you know, write out a brief response to whatever the question is. So that is the substance, for the most part, of what we're going to be doing week to week over the course of the semester, is those discussion forums, and then uh, reading the chapters from the Jaffe text, which includes uh, looking also at the audio lectures and taking the reading quizzes. And for this week, uh, you'll be doing that for chapters 1 and 2 out of the Jaffe text. Then the last thing uh, on the course plan for this week is 
the guidelines for the speaker critiques that you're going to be doing uh, over the course of the semester. Um, there's nothing you actually have to do with that this week other than uh, just downloading those guidelines and reading them over carefully so you know what's going to be coming up for you. Um, the speaker critiques are short papers, two-page papers. You'll be doing four of them over the course of the semester, and the due dates are both on the syllabus uh, as well as listed in the guidelines for the speaker critiques. And this is where you're going to have to go out uh, and attend public speaking performances in your community uh, or in your broader uh, area or region in which you live. And uh, you'll be doing a lot of the same things that you will subsequently be doing uh, when you do the peer reviews of your classmates, uh, saying what the speaker's strengths are, what are their areas of improvement, and sort of uh, working in or engaging with some of the ideas that we will be learning about in the text. Uh, so I give those to you this very second week of the semester just so that you um, can begin planning, uh, because depending on where some of you live, you may need to do some planning to line up and find out about uh, and attend public speaking performances. Now, as it explains in the, in the guidelines, one uh, of your four critiques can be uh, a public speaking performance that you view on video, uh, either on television or something that you find on YouTube, etc. So one of the four you can do that with. Uh, you don't have to do any video performances if you don't want. Uh, but you can do a maximum of one. So you're going to have to find and attend at least three different uh, public speaking performances over the course of the semester. Uh, and there's a wide variety of things uh, that you can do uh, over and above what you might think of as sort of the stereotypical public speaking performance. A lecture in a class might work if it fulfills the definition of public speaking. Uh, a sermon by a pastor, uh, same thing, will work if it fulfills that definition of public speaking that we'll be uh, learning about this week. Um, and there are other possibilities as well. As well. Could be a work-related thing uh, and so forth. So uh, if you have any questions about the speaker critiques uh, as we go about these first few weeks and you begin to um, try and locate performances to attend and maybe even attend performances of public speaking, uh, let me know. And as always, if you have questions about any of the coursework that you're engaging in, uh, this week, the, the first discussion forums and the first uh, text chapters and reading quizzes that you're going to be doing. Uh, if you have any questions about any of that or anything else uh, related to the course, please let me know. And I look forward uh, to watching your speeches of introduction this week uh, and getting to know all of you here at the beginning of our semester.